In this video, I want to cover the vignette option. Uh, this is one of my favorite little features here. A lot of times, if you want to create a vignette, um, it can be difficult to do offset vignettes or particular shapes, or it can be a little time consuming. And this just is a quick and easy way to create a vignette. Uh, and if you just click on it, it's just going to create a default vignette on the outer edge. As you can see, this is just the default vignette. Um, looks pretty decent. You can make some adjustments to it. So um, I could go in here and you can see for one that's 30% opacity and it's got a curve to it. So you could adjust this curve if you want to, um, particularly if you wanna limit how it impacts particular tones, but I think it's just easier to work with the opacity. So if you want less, just drop the opacity. If you want more, you can really crank the opacity up to wherever you need that to be. The other thing is this vignette here, um, it's actually a mask with a feather applied to it. So you just double click the mask so you can see these options here and with the feather I can make this vignette more subtle by increasing the feather or I can make it really rigid by bringing the feather down so you can see the original mask is actually just a hard oval um, the the feathering has been applied to the mask so that just gives you a layer of control on how the vignette is applied by using the feather and how much by using the opacity um, the, the next thing about this that I really like, and this is what I think saves me a lot of time, so let's get rid of this. Let's say we wanted to apply the vignette to a particular part of the image, um, maybe just the, uh, the building up top here. So we could load up our lasso tool and just draw kind of a crude selection around it. Um, a hard time drawing with the, uh, the mouse as opposed to the, the pen. Um, and so with that shape, I can now hit vignette and it's going to create a vignette based on that shape and you can see in the mask here that it you know surrounds this area and it's automatically been feathered the amount that's here depends on the uh, the total width and, and height so um, the smaller your selection the less it'll feather and the larger your selection the more it will feather so it's got a smart algorithm to determine how much to feather by default but you can always adjust it you know right here and uh, to suit your taste and of course we can sit here and change the opacity and make it more or less extreme. And you can see now we've got this vignette that is applied to the building. It's not centered. It's not a particular round shape. It's a custom shape and it could be whatever we want it to be. So just for uh, purposes of demonstration, if we drew some really odd vignette shape and did a vignette over here, and let's just kick up the opacity on this to see this. You can see that it's vignetting whatever shape you create. So a lot of capability to vignette wherever the object is, whatever shape it is. Um, just draw a quick selection around it with your preferred selection tool. I like the lasso. And then drop this in and you can modify as you want. The, uh, the next thing about this, uh, there's one last little uh, feature. So we got to get rid of our selection and then we can hit delete on the layer. Um, so let's say again that we want to select the uh, the Capitol building here, right? And I'm just going to kind of draw my crude selection. And if I want to fix that, I maybe just all select that out, refine that. So um, so we can create our vignette. If you then Alt click vignette, it's going to create a lightning curve. So so the first one was a darken curve on the outside because the white's going to be where it's applied. So it's darkening the outside. This next one is actually lightening the inside. So you can see here that we've lightened up the interior and darkened the exterior. And again, you can go and adjust the opacity however you want, and you can change the feather however you need to. But with that, um, just gives you another option that sometimes with a vignette, you want to darken what's around it. Sometimes you actually want to highlight the the um, object that you're vignetting. So it's a way of actually boosting it uh, in your vignette. 